Hello everyone, it's Matt here with LiveSportsCaster.com and Veercast Digital Media. I'm recording this tutorial today to bring you uh, information on Amazon's new web streaming service called Amazon IVS. Uh, Amazon IVS stands for Amazon Interactive Video Service and this basically provides a very easy way for end users to stream live white label without having to use a service such as Boxcast or YouTube or Facebook. If you're tired of those copyright infringement uh, notifications you're getting on these platforms, this is a good alternative. It uses the same technology as Twitch and uh, here in the future it's going to be a really big way for people to be able to stream live and archive that content. As of now, um, without further integration and, and uh, development, you're only going to be able to stream live. It will not ar automatically archive for you. That will change here in the future when we develop um, on our end a way to do that. So uh, just keep in mind this will just be a live stream. There will be no archive afterwards. So you'll want to record the stream uh, via vMix or whatever encoder that you're using. So anyways, I've gone ahead and logged into my admin panel here, and I want to just show you a quick way um, to get your streams uh, available on Amazon and then available on your website as well. One of the biggest gripes so far with the Amazon Interactive Video Service is that it does not provide you with an embed code. Uh, and so because of that, there's no embed codes, no easy way for you to put it on your website. Live Sportscaster solves this by just being able to provide you with that embed code and be able to put the stream on your website or our own. Um, I'll walk you quickly how to do that right now. So we'll go into create channel and you can name this anything you want. So right now we're going to call it Live Sportscaster. We want it to be the default configuration. We don't really have anything custom we need done at this moment. Um, the channel type is going to be standard. Uh, it'll go up to full HD, 1080p. Video latency is going to be ultra low latency. We can keep that uh, there just like that. Go to create channel. So now I have a uh, live sportscaster channel here. It's a standard channel, ultra low latency, as we said before. And if you look below here, it gives you a stream configuration and a stream key. And that's what you're going to need to input into your encoder, which in this case today, we're going to be using vMix. I'm just going to copy this uh, stream URL. And I'm assuming right now that you already have uh, the knowledge to stream through your encoder. So I've already got the stream going here, but I'll show you the settings where we inputted them here. So we put the URL there, we put the stream key there, and we hit stream. So I'm actually streaming to a different channel right now. So I go into channels and it'll list all the channels that I have. This one right here is the one I'm streaming to called Veercast. And so it'll pull up a player here and you'll be able to see uh, that you're streaming, uh, you are live. And right now, uh, because we have ultra low latency, it shouldn't be that far behind uh, the actual live content. It tells you the duration I've been streaming for basically nine and a half minutes and how many viewers there have been. Uh, again, here's your information you put into your coder. And here's what we want to focus on here for Live Sportscaster because this is the playback configuration. So it's a playback URL. It's a direct URL that you can um, access the broadcast to. I'm going to copy that URL and go to LiveSportsCaster.com. If you haven't already created an account, um, it's good to do because you, again, we give you the option of creating your own channel where you can host all your videos there on Live Sportscaster, or we give you the embed code that you can put it on your own website. So it gives you the option uh, to do that, and uh, we've worked really hard on the platform and hope that you will uh, explore a little bit and see if it works for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to New up here in the top left after I click on the Clips tab. Click on Stream Live, because that's what we're doing. We're streaming live. So we're just going to put Testing Now. This will pull up a general information tab. You don't really need to mess with anything here unless you're actually going to put the broadcast out there. You'll want to change your title, your slug, your description, any keywords you want to use. You want to put a poster on here. Um, you can do that. The only thing we need to focus on today is this media tab. This is just for demonstration purposes. Again, I've copied that URL. I've pasted it here um, into this HTML5, uh, HTML5 section. And that's just that URL that we copied from the Amazon IVS console. And you'll notice here it says single bitrate. Uh, Amazon IVS is multi bitrate, so it provides different qualities for the end user. Um, so your streaming and the person watching your stream is not going to have to deal with any buffering issues because they can either watch in 1080, 720, 480. It'll, it'll actually reduce automatically for the end user, so it uh, reduces any buffering and uh, ability for them to watch the broadcast. So we've got that pasted there, but you'll also notice down here under media there's a multi bitrate URL option. And so I've also pasted that here uh, into the multi bitrate section. And that will prioritize over the single bitrate. This is the single is just a fallback URL. 
So what we'll do is we will um, hit save up here. That saves that configuration. And then now you'll notice if you click on the preview button here, you'll notice that it does pull up our player. And then here shortly, there it is, you'll see the broadcast pull up. So that's what we're streaming live at this moment. If we scroll down a little bit, this is where it becomes valuable for you. Because if you don't use Live Sportscaster's platform, you're still going to have to have a website you'll need embed code for. And it's when you hit the share button, it pulls up this embed code there at the bottom. All you have to do is copy that embed code and paste it in your own website. And there you have your live stream embedded into your website with no additional development. Let Live Sportscaster handle all that for you. Just with a few extra clicks in Live Sportscaster and creating an account, uh, you can now embed your Amazon IVS console broadcasts into your platform. I will note, too, that this does mask your playback URL. So there's no way for anybody to steal by looking at the embed code or looking at your page source to see what your Amazon uh, direct URL is. It's, that's especially handy, handy if you uh, plan on using this for pay-per-view, which Live Sportscaster has proprietary software for that as well. So if you plan on doing pay-per-view, we can handle everything uh, through our system uh, all for free. Uh, it gives you the ability to uh, do pay-per-view just like uh, to cast or BoxCast or any of those platforms out there that offer uh, Cling even. Um, offer pay-per-view options. Live Sportscaster has all that built in as well. So I do appreciate you watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, our email is info at veercast.com. That's I-N-F-O at V-E-E-R-C-A-S-T dot com. Uh, email us any questions you have on how to do this. This, this video is pretty self-explanatory, and you can play around a little bit with the Live Sportscaster platform if you choose to do so uh, and maybe implement it into your broadcasts. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.